Pachuca, who go. are you? Pachuca is trash. JMR needs to start. I Run agree. the wave. JMR needs to start. Jaquil with the tech. Renadeski and Sinye doing their shit. He's basically my dad. Up the Reds. Let's go, TFC. Yeah. Who's Pachuca? Donde esta Pachua? Pachua, donde esta? This is Fan First Network. Huge win here at home, Vivo Field. What do you think of the game, man? I thought the game was incredible. It was very good pace back and forth. Uh, TFC did look a little bit tired on the second half. However, they did deliver, and that's what we all wanted at the end. Oh, it was fantastic. I thought first half we were pretty dominant. Petretta had a really great game. Uh, I know a lot of people talk shit about this guy, but he was playing on the right side tonight as a left footer. And uh, defensively, it was just solid. So I'll give a lot of ups to him. Kosi Thompson, everyone needs to get off this guy. This guy is good, versatile. I'm going to say, I'm going to go as far. Obviously, he's not as good, but he's like a cheap, cheap, cheap Joshua Kimmich. First off, Federico Bernardeschi, Tiamo. He's basically my dad. I'll let him have my kids. Greatest player of all time, greatest player in TFC history. John Herman, you can take him off. He's still my dad. I want to tell you, Etienne Jr., Best fucking player on the team. Your defense? Terrified. Pachuca, who are you? Who's Pachuca? Who the fuck are they? That's a small club to me. Toronto FC, baby. All the time, we're coming back to glory. Our guys that we pay a lot of money, we're playing really well, putting their talent on display. God, honestly, I thought Pachuca was trash. Good fucking win. Great win. Great win, right? Kobe Franklin's the GOAT. Jaquil with the tech, it's great. Love the Italian football. Bernadeschi and Signe doing their shit. Going up on the field, up the Reds, let's go TFC! Fantastic performance, um, f uh, you know, Fede worked his ass off as usual. Um, Lorenzo, that was a beautiful pass, and yeah. I think that might have been the first time we scored a goal without the Italians on the pitch. Kobe Franklin, who's been like, not that great, scored a really good goal, it's big for him. It's a lot of momentum for us, like, I'm real fucking excited. We can, we're competing for a fucking trophy, bro. The turnaround from the losing streak to now is nuts, like, the CONCACAF Champions League winners from like losing to Chicago 4-1 at home. <laughs> Fuck yeah, bro. It's exciting. We didn't deserve to concede that scrappy goal. We dominated the game. We deserve to win that like 5 or 6 nil. I'm not going to lie. We're scheduled to play Inter-Miami at their home for the next game of the tournament. How do you think that's going to oh, go come down? come on now. Come on now. We know who the real goat is. We know who it is. How do, how do you think the game's going to go? Oh, fuck. We're going to win 3-0. Miami might win, but I hope TFC fight hard. Well, M Messi's not going to play, so... The last time we played Miami, they didn't have Suarez, and Messi or Suarez came on late. I think we played a pretty solid 90 minutes. Like, I know we lost 3-1. A lot of people are going to underestimate the importance of this. This is a lot of momentum. You beat a team with the prestige of Pachuca. I think... You could go all the way, and I think Miami is going to have all the pressure on them because I don't think anyone expects TFC to fucking beat Miami in Miami. They're going to have a lot of pressure, and I think we have to take advantage of that. I think maybe I think Miami will win, but it, but I think we're going to be close. I, I think we're going to be close because Messi didn't play when we last played them. I mean, I hope we hold possession. That's really it. That's the only way I see us playing. Um, that's really the only way I see us winning. We just got to hold possession. Obviously, the counter, we're a little weak on the counter. We need to be good on against free kicks. We need to be defending free kicks well. But uh, just use pace down the wings, and I think we'll uh, we'll do well. Suarez, Busquets, Alba, they can't. You have to think about the fact that, I don't know, I'm assuming Suarez is going to play. Like, we got Jordi Alba, Busquets. Like, these are players, again, a big Barcelona fan. Like, they know what to do. Listen, just because it's Miami, you don't need to freak out, okay? TFC does have the ability to beat Miami. I wouldn't rule out TFC just yet. Just be patient. I think we can do this one. A full squad TFC uh, team could take on any team in the League's Cup, even in Champions League. I think we're good, but... Uh, I don't know. Champions League is fuck. I don't know. You're That's that's delusional, but I like it. I love it. I'll take a run in anything. It's midsummer. Let's just have some home games. I know this didn't produce us a home game, but right. let's win against Miami. Are, they're down my, Messi and Suarez, I think. I believe so now, yeah. So let's win a road game, and let's bring it back home. Let's enjoy this summer. Let's bring it back. Overall, I like our squad. Um, I really think that John Herdman's uh, starting to dial things together. The guys are playing well, they're meshing, and things are starting to come together for TFC. So I like their chances, honestly. Obviously, TFC is going to fucking win the tournament. Like, there's no doubt about it. Who are these kids? I don't know half of these guys. Uh, yeah, these you're guys right. The League's Cup is a new tournament between the MLS and uh, Liga MX. What do you guys think of the tournament? 
I think it's a good tournament, not gonna lie. I like the concept, there's a lot of flaws. The Mexican teams can't play at home, the seating is weird, where it impacts the next year, but it doesn't impact this year, and like, and you know, the Mexican teams can't play at home, but because of the way the seating works prior to the group stage, if that weren't the case... PSG! Yeah! Let's go! <laughs> but if that was the case, then MLS teams would play two games away, which also isn't fair, but you know, if you had the travel and everything, it wouldn't work with like the schedule, if it, like, the Liga MX season also barely started. If you wanted to change all of it, you'd have to change the schedule around, but I like the concept, even if it definitely seems to favor MLS and, and money. I love the fact that the two leagues get to take a break and they get to make a competition together. I think that works really well for multiple different reasons. And I think the League's Cup is a great thing. And uh, I think over the years, we're going to see more positive results on this. Uh, what do you think of the game today? I think the game went well. Uh, I like the whole new tournament where we get new competition yeah. and our players get to go against different players that have different play styles and everything. So today's game went well considering we don't play teams like this often. Oh, Mexico! No. Mexico! Eh, eh, eh. Uh, yeah, yeah, so uh, the score today, 2-1 Toronto FC! Aha! Mexico! He Canada, Canada. We beat you guys in Copa America. We beat you guys today. I love Mexico, but we fucking own Mexico. You were talking to me about the noise levels in there and where they were coming from. Long weekend, I knew it was gonna be a sold out. I check, it's sold out. I come here, I'm expecting a sold out TFC crowd with TFC jerseys. All I'm seeing is Mexican jerseys and Mexican club jerseys and Mexican flags. A big crowd reaction, the biggest crowd reaction I've probably ever heard at BMO Field except for a Canada game and it was a fucking away goal. Are you fucking serious? So that speaks volumes. The TFC fans were still loud, but come on, we can't be outnumbered like that. It's and this always happens whenever a Mexican team comes here. This is not a good look. This is Fan First Network. I'm a Ronaldo, I'm a Ronaldo man, but like you gotta respect Messi. He's a, he's a beast, you know what I mean? Side! Ronaldo's better! See!